we're going to start continue with unit one team trends and we're going to start here section 1d okay here we have this pay attention in fashion what does it mean in fashion in this case in fashion is like in the moda no the, the moda or la moda something like that here and here we're going to talk about clothes here we're going to talk about clothes what are clothes Okay, now here, for example, question number one. What kind of clothes do you wear when you go out? Go out, for example, is when you go to a party, when you go to a party, meeting, maybe something like that. Okay? Something like that. Or maybe when you go to the cinema, cinema, something like that. Maybe it could be whatever. Okay? Any place, tell me, Alvarez, what kind of clothes do you wear when you go out? What kind um, of clothes? Just yes, uh, blue pants and a t-shirt. Okay, thank you, good. Acosta, what kind of clothes do you wear when you go out? Que prendas, no? <clears throat> what kind of clothes, Acosta? Tell me, Maria Acosta, are you there? No, okay, another student here. Brenda Guamani, are you there, Brenda? Okay, um, what no. kind of clothes okay. do you wear when you go out? What kind of clothes? Maybe jeans, pants, skirt, t-shirt, I don't know, bl a blouse, sneakers, shoes, what? what um, kind of sneakers. Sneakers, what else? Um, jeans. Okay. What else? Shorts. More? Okay, or short. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Next, Hidalgo. Hidalgo, are you there? Okay, no. Mariel Huertas. Teacher. What kind of clothes do you wear when you go out? Mm, uh, jeans. Jeans, what else? Mm, dress. Okay, dress, baby. Okay, thank you, miss. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Next part. Here. Here we have some, voca uh, some vocabulary about clothes. You are going to match. You are going to match this with numbers, okay? Okay, you are going to match here. For example, number one, baggy pants. What do you think is the correct option here? In this case, baggy pants, the correct option is number two this is the correct option continue with the rest flare jeans torn jeans checker shirt strip shirt sparkly dress tie pants spotted spotted mm -hmm. dress match please put the numbers you have some seconds do it please and then we're going to listen and check nike Karen jeans is it's eight continue, continue, continue. do it all and then we're going to compare oh, together Jesus. Háganlo por unos segundos, traten de completarlo y luego lo hacemos juntos, ¿ok? I'm going to give you some seconds, no problem. Ya, teacher. Ok, ya, yeah, finish, ok. Now, tell yes. me about number two, Fleur Jeans. What do you think is not the correct number? Uh, a. A, thank you. It's like a campanado, something like that. Thor Jeans. Five. Five. I. Shaker shirt. Seven. Seven. A strip shirt. Three. 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 A sparkly dress. Four. Four. Sparkly, right? Light pants. Tight five. pants. Five. One. 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 And obviously spot address is six. six. Okay, listen the correct pronunciation. One D in fashion. Two vocabulary. Match the clothes in the pictures with the phrases below. Then listen and check your answers. One tight pants. Two baggy pants. Three. Striped shirt. Four. Sparkly dress. Five. Torn jeans. Six. 
spotted dress. 7. Checkered shirt. 8. Flared jeans. Okay, let's continue now. You know this. Now here, pay attention to this in this part. I'm going to ask you some questions about this, and you're going to answer yes or no. That's all simple. For example, do you wear ripped jeans? Yes, I do. Or maybe, no, I don't. Okay, remember with this. Okay, question number one is for Diana de la Cruz. Diana de la Cruz, open your microphone. Okay, Diana de la Cruz. Do you wear rib jeans? Diana de la Cruz. Okay, another student. In this case. Pilar Puma. Do you wear rib jeans? Open your microphone. Okay, who's chatting? Okay, Napan says, yes, I do. Okay, it's okay. In your case, Napan, okay, good. Um, what about Pilar Puma? Okay, thank you, Napan. What about Pilar Puma? You have to participate. Okay, another student. Romario Rios. Do you like baggy pants? Another no, student. No, I don't. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jamir Hulka. Do you wear formal clothes? Jamir Hulka. You have microphone? Oh, open your microphone. Jamir. Okay, no more. Other student. In this case, Melanie Mendoza. Melanie Mendoza. Melanie Mendoza, open your microphone. Mendoza, Melanie. No microphone, come on, really? Acosta, oh, <clears throat> do you like sparkly sneakers? Yes, teacher, yes, I do. Thank you. And another with this. Bernal Alija. Bernal. Here, Bernal is here. Okay. Bernal, <clears throat> are you there, Bernal? Remember, participation for you is very important. Muy importante para ustedes la participación, chicos. <clears throat> okay, in this case. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 what? Palomino Dana. Teacher. Do you like, do you like a sported t-shirts? No, I don't. No, I don't. Simple, that's all. Thank you, Miss. That's all. Simple questions, simple answers. That's all. Now, let's continue with this. Here you have a short reading. Here you have a short reading. Una corta lectura about jeans, okay? It's a short reading about jeans. Okay? So pay attention to this, jeans. Because the majority of people wear jeans. Four. Read. A. What do you know about the history of genes? Listen, read, and find out more. Genes. Genes are pants made of denim, and they come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. Most people have at least one pair, and in the USA, an average person has seven pairs. The word genes comes from the French bleu de jeans, which means the blue of Genoa. This is because denim was made in Genoa, and in the 16th century, sailors used to wear baggy denim pants. In the 1850s, Levi Strauss, a German merchant, started selling jeans to miners in California. They became popular because denim is a very strong material. However, some parts, like the pockets, used to rip a lot, so copper rivets were added to make them stronger. Jeans have changed very little since then, and Levi's jeans are still sold today. Okay, now tell me vocabulary here. What is denim? Is the material, okay? El material del que está hecho. 
shapes, formas, sailors, in this case, marineros, merchant, mercader, pockets, bolsillos, rip could be like rasgar something like that. Okay? okay, now, here, pay attention, and now I need some, some students to read this. Paragraph number one. Paragraph number one. Acosta, read please. Paragraph jeans. Our pants made of denim and the coming all shapes, colors and size. Most people have at length one pair, and in the use an average person has seven pairs. Thank you, Miss. Next, in this case, Brenda Wamani. Read, please. Um, the word jeans comes from the French blue de jeans, which means the blue of geno. This is because denim was made in geno and in the sixteenth, um, fifteenth day. Uh, century sailors used the word big denim pants. Okay, thank you, Miss Alvarez. In the teacher, I can see clearly. Okay, I can. Yes, you can. Yes. In the 1850s, Levi Strauss, a German merchant, started selling jeans to miners in California. They become popular because denim is a very strong material. However, some parts, like the pockets, use it to trip a lot. So, copper rivets were added to make it stronger. Jeans have changed very little signs since then are still today. Okay, good. Thank you, Miss. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Listen, please. In 1955, James Dean starred in the movie Rebel Without a Cause, wearing blue jeans. Teenagers wanted to copy his style, and jeans became a symbol of youth in the 50s and 60s. After that, more and more designs and styles came out. Flared, torn, baggy, tight, and even stonewashed jeans that looked old. Today, almost all fashion designers make their own jeans, and they're very popular. Jeans are an amazing item of clothing. They match everything and they can be casual or formal wear. Other clothes go in and out of fashion, but jeans are here to stay. Okay, let's continue now. Let's continue. Now here, pay attention. The next student that is going to read, please. In this case, we have here Lucero Dávila, read please. In 19. Okay. Dávila, Lucero, are you there? Okay, do it. Lucero, read it, please. I can hear you, not escucho. Okay, okay no, are you talking? Okay, no problem. You have problem with this? No problem. And uh, next, 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 next. Huertas, read, please, in 1955. Okay, teacher. In 1955, James Dean starring in the movie Rebel Wins on the on because during blue jeans teenagers wanted to copy his style and this began a symbol of young in the in the 50 and 70 good in the 50s 
seconds. Uh, six, six, okay. It's okay. Six, six, it's okay. Six seconds. Six seconds. Okay, next. Jamile Chavez, are you there? Okay, read please. After that. After that, more and more she says, uh, star came out, star, star, because uh, they are even stone to watch it. The look at uh, today almost our fashion is the same. May they all just, um, they are very popular. Hey, thank you. Pupuche, the last one. Pupuche, thank you, Miss. Pupuche. Are you there, Pupuche? Pupuche. Pupuche. Okay, no, but you do it say present. Okay, to finish, another student. Castro Mariela, are you there? Okay. No, okay, another. Guillem Pamela, are you there? Guillem Pamela. Profesor, estoy mal de la garganta y no puedo hablar. Pues te escucho muy bien, pero bueno. Okay, I'm finished. Okay, Acosta, read please the last part. Jeans. The last part, Acosta. <clears throat> Jeans are a missing amazing in the off clothing clothing. They match everything and they can because be casual or formal wear. Other clothes going on or fashion <clears throat> but jeans are hard to style. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. <coughs> now, let's continue. According to this reading, you're going to tell me true, false, or not mentioned, okay? T for true, F for false, or N, N, M for not mentioned. Number one, most Americans have more than one pair of jeans. True, false, or not mentioned? True. No. Thank you. The sailors in Genoa used to wear tight jeans in the 16th century. False. False. Thank you. Levi Strauss sold jeans to German workers. False. False. Levi jeans sell more than any other jeans today. No mention. Not mention. <clears throat> Teenagers copied James Dean's style in 1950s. False. In this case, true. Pay attention to this. Next, stone wash jeans are not difficult to make. Number six, true or false? Not mentioned. Fashion designers' jeans are really expensive. Not, not mentioned. mentioned also. Not mentioned also. Right? Don't confuse not mentioned with false, okay? No se confunden. Muchos se confunden en eso. Verdadero, en el falso y el no mencionado. Okay? Okay, next, let's continue. Here. Well, this is about past. Esto ya lo vimos. About past. Affirmative, negative. Uh, here we have use. Okay, here we're going to, to practice this. Complete with a past simple of the verb in parentheses. Remember past simple, you're going to use with the auxiliary. In this case, I'm going to give you an example about past simple. I'm going to give number one, for example. It's a question, so you use the auxiliary. The auxiliary is did and the verb in the base form. You. Yes, and you have to use this verb in fact, what is the correct option here? Send. Yes, I okay. did. Number two. Yesterday, Tony, what is the pass of go? Went. Went. Went to the Went. movie with his friends. They. What? Watch. Watch. Don't say it. it's not watch. It. It's watched. Okay. What? A horror film, but Tony. No, you have to use in negative. Didn't like? Didn't like. Very good. Didn't like Didn't it. Didn't like. It. It both. was. Both. Was. Yes, it's okay. Was. Was, was a little too scary for me. <laughs> Last week, Debbie. Was a pair of pants and strip shirt. Was a pair of pants and strip shirt. She. Uh, 
want. In this case, want. in this case, the correct pronunciation is wanted. It's different to this. Pay attention. Watched, wanted. Okay. Now next. Yes. To buy a jacket too, but she didn't not know. can. Didn't can't. No. Not. No. He's not didn't. Pay attention. No. Who then? No. Why? Why? Can. The past of can. The past of can. Then. Could. The mm. past. In past. For that reason, for negative. Couldn't. Couldn't. Yes. Couldn't. Sorry. Could not or couldn't. Okay. No problem. Okay. Now let's continue. And finally, she. Didn't. didn't have. Didn't have. A ver, chicos, recordarles esto. Only for question you just did, cuando es pregunta. And the verb in base form, el verbo se mantiene. For negative, you just didn't. Y el verbo se mantiene, the base form. For the verb be, is, was, or, where. No me vayan a poner did be, algunos exámenes, did be, no, where. And the rest, you know. Okay, don't forget that this is important, okay? Let's continue. Now, here, pronunciation in this part, in order we're going to finish this section, we have this. Listen, please. Six. Pronunciation. A. Listen and repeat. What's the difference between A and B? A. French. B. Refrigerator. B. Listen and check the sound you hear. French. Ch. Refrigerator. J. Jeans. Age. Checkered. Teenager. Watch. Century. Imagine. Okay, according to this, jeans, French or refrigerator? French. Jeans. Okay, you said French. I think the correct is refrigerator. Checker. What is the correct option for checker? French or refrigerator? French. French. Teenager. Refrigerator. Watch. French. French. Imagine. Refrigerator. Yeah, refrigerator. Okay, that's refrigerator. Okay. But the other age and century could be maybe kind of difficult because maybe you can confuse because age, maybe you can think that it's French, but in this case, it's refrigerator and century in this case is like this, but maybe confused. That's the reason I didn't put it. Okay, now, with these examples are okay. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. To finish, we have this, the last part, being a friend. Okay, here we have being a friend. And, and, and okay, pay attention here. Here you have some vocabulary. In this case, you have these words with temper, bossy, confident, stubborn, selfish, outgoing, kind, and easygoing. Okay, and here you have number one to eight, and you're going to match with a correct letter. Okay. In this case, pay attention, read, and you have one minute to do it. Okay? In this case. Okay, you're going to. I can see clearly. You can see clearly. You're in a cell phone or a tablet or laptop. Or you're in a cell phone, maybe? Laptop. Or maybe. Maybe, laptop. You, maybe your connection. Other students have the same problem? Oh. Ah, okay. So you're the only. Maybe your connection. Okay. Change your okay. connection. Okay. It's not my my connection. Okay. Because if I have the problem, if I was the problem, maybe all the students have the same problem. Okay, now we're going to listen. Okay, listen. So, so in this case, because you have some problem, maybe you want what you're going to listen, okay? Listen how much. One E. Being a friend. One. Vocabulary. Read the sentences below and match the words in bold with the definitions A to H. Then listen and check your answers. 1. I can't talk to Rita about anything. 
Within minutes, she's shouting at me. She's so quick-tempered. G. Quick-tempered. Becoming angry easily and without having a good reason. 2. Andy is very bossy. He annoys everyone by telling them what to do and what not to do. D. Bossy. Always telling people what to do. 3. Karen is a confident person, so she's never nervous about anything. H. Confident. Feeling sure about what you can do. 4. Eric never follows other people's advice. He's very stubborn. B. Stubborn. Not changing your opinion easily. 5. Tommy, don't be selfish. Share your things with the other kids and don't fight. C. Selfish. Not thinking about other people's feelings or needs. 6. Brenda is very outgoing. She loves going to parties. A. Outgoing. Friendly. Enjoying meeting other people. 7. I couldn't find my cell phone, so a kind woman gave me hers to call my parents. F. Kind. Helpful and friendly. 8. I love hanging out with Lisa because she's easygoing. We never argue about what to do. E. Easygoing. Relaxed and happy without worrying or becoming angry. Okay, in this case, we have here quick temper is like tempera temperamental, bossy, like mandón, something like that. Confident is una persona segura de sí misma, segura de sí mismo. Stubborn, like terco, obstinado, selfish, egoísta, outgoing, alguien que le gusta mucho salir, sociable, something would be kind, amable, and easygoing, something similar, similar, okay? Similar, okay? <clears throat> similar to outgoing, it's some kind of similar, okay? Now, to finish this, pay attention. Pay attention here. Here we'll finish with this. You are going to match, only match. Listen and match, okay? No more. Three, listen. A, listen to a boy and girl choosing a new member for their band. Match the people with the adjectives below. There is one extra adjective which you do not need to use. So, Kevin. What do you think? Who should we choose? I'm not sure. Come on. We've seen them perform. What do you think of Erin? She can play the guitar very well, and she dresses pretty cool. I like her style. Yeah, she's a good guitarist, but she annoys me a little. Why? What do you mean? Well, she kept telling everyone where to stand and what to do. You're right about that, but it's not that annoying, is it? Well, it might be a problem. Anyway, what about Frank? He's good, but I think he's really shy. How is he going to perform live in front of an audience? Don't worry about that. Frank is the opposite of shy. How do you know? He hangs out with my brother. Frank's very friendly once you get to know him, and he loves being around people. Maybe he was just nervous about getting into our band. Yeah, maybe. How about Mike? He's also very good, and he's confident. But... But what? He gets angry very easily. He got into a fight with Aaron the other day. Don't you remember? Everybody gets angry. I think he's fine. Come on, we have to decide. Pay attention here. Number one, what is the correct option? Bossy. Frank is... A... Tell me, no. outgoing. Okay. And Mike, it's quick temper. temper. Yes, good. Now here, you're going to tell me the boy or the girl. It's the boy or the girl. It's the same audio. The boy or the girl likes airing clothes. In this case, the boy. The girl in this case. The, the, the Frank's airing annoying. The boy. The boy. The girl or the boy thinks Frank is too shy. Mm. Boy. 
Here in this case, listen. What about Frank? He's good, but I think he's really shy. Next, number four, the... The boy. The boy's the brothers knows Frank. And finally, five, the... The girl. The girl. Very good. That's the correct. With this part, we finished, chicos. We, we, we finished with this part. 